It's been 24 hours since we found out about the suspension of Jamison Williams, and we've talked about a variety of things in that time. Should the Detroit Lions trade him and move on? Should we continue to give him a chance? And how long are we going to deal with Jamison Williams' behavior? Well, yesterday when everything came out, we didn't really know as far as what it entailed, as far as his suspension, how deep would he go, what he could and could not do. And I saw something from Dan Miller Fox 2 Detroit, where he talked about exactly what it means for Jamison Williams and the suspension. Here's what it entails. That's in bolts. An NFL investigation has resulted in four Lions being suspended for violating the league's policy on gambling. They are as follows. Two players suspended indefinitely for betting on NFL games. Wide receiver Quintez Cephas and safety CJ Moore. They can both apply for reinstatement in a year. However, they have been released. They are no longer with the organization. Two players suspended for six games. They did not bet on the NFL, but did bet within a team facility. That can include any sports betting or casino betting on a mobile device. Those players were wide receiver Jamison Williams and wide receiver Stanley Berryhill. Now, both Williams and Berryhill remain with the team. They can take part in their offseason program, which is ongoing. They can also take part in training camp and play in the preseason. They will have to leave the team when final cuts take place, have to sit out six games at the midway point after three weeks. They can petition the league to get back into the facility in Allen Park to work out. But we should point out they will not be able to practice with the team at that point. Also, one other player from around the league, defensive end Shaka Tony of the Commanders, suspended indefinitely as well. So, you. So there you have it. Jamison Williams will be out six games. He has the opportunity to appeal the NFL's decision. They could possibly turn it down to reduce that to three games. But as you heard, he can practice. He can actually play in the preseason. But when the season starts and that initial cut, well, we have just one cut now from 90 to 53, he has to leave the team after three weeks, according to Dan Miller, then he can petition the team to come back in to work out. So this is another concern about Jamison Williams that we talked about. And we talked about this yesterday. And this guy here, this is, his, this is going to be when he shows what he's really made of because during that time that he has to step away from the team and those three weeks before he can petition to come back and work out with the team, he has to continue those workouts on his own. Will he come back in shape? Will he be disciplined enough to do that? So this is going to be a huge learning experience for Jamison Williams. And as I said in yesterday's video, this is going to be the moment of truth, a defining moment for this young man to see what kind of career, what kind of name does he want to make for himself in the NFL because he has already lost a ton and can lose possibly more if the Detroit Lions decide to do so. We already know, this is coming from Fansided, we already know Williams is set to lose over $7 million due to his suspension via salary. He'll lose this year for six games and for voiding and the voiding of future guaranteed salaries in 2024 and 2025. Signing bonus money is not subject to reduction based on a suspension. So Jamison Williams has essentially voided $7 million by the decision that he made. But the Detroit Lions can take that even further if they want it. Lions can reasonably try to recoup a piece of Jamison Williams signing bonus. Down below it says, the Lions may also look to recoup $823,290 of his signing bonus six weeks of his 2023 proration per this suspension. The prorated portion of Williams signing bonus for 2023 is $2,400,000 and some change. And one third of that is six of of that is six weeks is the hundred eight hundred plus thousand that we mentioned before. Now here's the deal: recouping that eight hundred thousand plus would not be about the money for the Lions or further punishing Williams financially. It will be about adding another deterrent to anyone else doing what Williams and others, uh, what got Williams and others suspended. And on the front, it just might be worth it. Now, they're, they're basically saying if the Detroit Lions wanted to recoup the prorated portion of Jamison Williams' signing bonus, they could do that. Not to hurt the young man financially, but to prove a point. Now, we saw what happened for Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson's situation is different, okay? 
Calvin had already given several years to this team. Nine, is, as a matter of fact. Detroit, Jamison Williams has played six games. So the Detroit Lions would be well within their right now. I said I was going to f- side with the player from this point forward. I'm going to have to make an exception for this. This young man has done nothing for this organization thus far, and they would be well within their right, as they were with Calvin Johnson, to ask for his signing bonus, a portion of it back. And it wouldn't be for any other reason but to show this kid and to, to teach a lesson for anyone else thinking about this. I thought, I thought about C.J. Moore, how much of an idiot he had to be to be a special teamer, knowing good and well that he couldn't gamble on NFL games. Now, it's a sign in the locker room, from what I understand, and somebody mentioned it in the comment section yesterday, detailing that you can't do this. Also, in the rookie symposium, according to sources that I've heard from watching YouTube videos yesterday, this is very clear when you are told about gambling when it comes to uh, being brought into the NFL. It's very clear. And either Jamison Williams had a brain fart, he wasn't paying attention, maybe he went to the bathroom during this. I don't know. But they're very clear. These are very clear instructions, very detailed, and there's no reason that he shouldn't have not, he shouldn't not have known. So I think let me know in the comments below. Should the Detroit Lions recoup six games worth of his signing bonus for eight hundred twenty three thousand dollars? I think they should. I think they should. And this will be a lesson to, because this kid has to straighten up. This will set an example of him, and it needs to be done. It needs to be done because this kid hasn't even started his NFL career. He barely started it, and he's already on the, on the hot seat. So I think the Lions should do this. Will they do that? That's entirely up to them. This They don't have to do that unless they want to, and that's going to be a decision that they have to make. And this is all the more reason – that they should utilize this time, try to get Calvin Johnson back in this fold so that when the season starts and Calvin and Jamison Williams can be part of the team, Calvin can take him under his wing and begin to help this young man mature because he needs that. But let me know in the comments below, do you think that Jamison Williams will learn his lesson? This is a very expensive lesson to learn. And do you think the Detroit Lions should take back almost a million dollars of his signing bonus. Let me know. I'm, I'm very curious to know because the fan base seems to be very divided on this, and I'm curious to know what you guys think. But there you have it. Jamison Williams, the details of the suspension, how much will it affect the team? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. Don't forget, live coverage of the NFL Draft coming up in less than five days. So subscribe to the channel. And thank you for 9,500 subscribers. We're almost there at 10K. I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. And as always, go Lions.